Welcome again. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to convert a HTML template into a PHP template. So in this tutorial, at first we will create link for our navigation. Here for about and contract page, we still not created any uh, link for that. So now if we click in here, there will be no any action. So we will create a link for about and contact or we will create a page, pages for about and contact. So let's go. So first, uh, we have to go in navigation location so our location was uh, we have created in source and there is a folder called template and there is a folder called layout uh, sorry this not in layout this uh, that was in element and this element we have created a nav.php where actually our navigation located so now we have to create a link for our about so CACPHP has provided a URL helper uh, that to create uh, or build a link. So we can easily create a link for our about link. So here you can see this uh, anchor tag in here and there is href. In href, I'm just going to create a PHP tag in here and in the PHP tag here. So I, have to, I can write echo here or in shorthand we can write like this and then I'm just typing this URL the URL helper class we have to write URL then we have to use the method name build and then I have to mention the controller name and the action name so I'm using a array in here and giving single code or you, you can use double quote in here and mention the controller name so controller name will be blocks and then method name or action name will be about like this so you can see that our link already created so now if you save it and go in your browser and reload your face then if you click on about you should go in blocks about that means it's actually redirect now in blocks controller and about method so we i have no any method in about so that's why i'm getting this exception that's called uh that's called uh there there is no any method called about in blocks controller so i have to create a blocks controller okay so let's create a uh, sorry let's create a about method now in blocks controller so just i'm just typing public and function and a method called about like this and we have to create a page for about a space so i'm just going to my layout folder and there is a folder called blocks that we has been created uh, where is the blocks here and now here we have to create a file called about.php so now if we just create a h1 tag and uh, I'm just writing about now save it and if you go in browser and then reload it our space then we can see that about but you can see the link uh, that is uh, showing that's actually not our block that uh, template that we have created in previous tutorial we have created a blocks layout this layout actually not showing in this about the reason is we actually created this block layout only for this method so we have to also mention that uh, uh, we also want to use this block layout for this about to then what we'll do we will copy this and paste it in here uh, so we're not actually going to do this we actually uh, use this block for this blocks controller we will use this uh, layout called block so i want to change this layout for our all action in blocks controller that means i will set layout blocks for our all action uh, in for our block controller so I'm just going in top and CACPHP have has given a method called before filter 
and using before filter you can change your layout for your uh, all actions a controller also you can use it if you use it in app controller this layout will change for your all controller so before filter function actually like as a callback function or you can say it's a event so let's see how you you can use the before filter so for use before filter uh, it's actually in uh, if you go in vendor and if you go in cac php source and there is also a folder called source and there is a folder called event in here you don't need to go here i'm just giving an example that's why i'm just going here and uh, in this event there is a folder called event and this name is space actually you need to use uh, this before filter so i'm go here and just use the name space event and in cac php 3 version 3 you have used if you familiar with cac php version 3 you have used like this that means event and event class but in cac php 4 they have changed this class and they have actually not changed this class they actually used here interface so that's why you have to use interface uh, you have to use interface in here so if you go in here so you will see that implements event interface so you have to give this interface in here so now if you create a function called before filter public function before filter and then you have to mention the object in here so in parameter so i am just uh, uh, copy this line that means event interface and then i'm using a variable called event so now before do anything if you just use a debug in here like this debug and use this want to see this object how actually looking like this object and i'm using a exit in here so if you go in your browser now and reload your page you will see a, an object so this is the object that's actually will fire before your all action in this controller for example you can see when i have given this exit this function actually working uh, before all your action so whom is not working now because i have given here exit so if i just uh, uh, change here this line if i just copy or cut here from here and paste it in here like this and after save if you just go in here and reload you will see a change in here for example i have just changed a view builder i'm searching a view builder yeah so this is the view builder you can see that in here they have mentioned the layout will be blocked like this this and if you just change it or comment it now we have to say before reload it you will see nothing in here okay so now let's change it again and after save go in here reload it again so you can see the same thing again that means they have, they have actually changed the layout for you this controller that's called blocks so now remove this two line then debug and uh, exit then after save if you go and reload your page now you will see for your about page the layout block also has applied so now same thing you can do same thing you can do for your contact page i'm just copy this line uh, from here from here to here and then i'm pasting in here for contact and in this time action will be contact and uh, i'm same thing doing for whom because after go about or contact i have to return this page the same thing i'm going to do i'm just in this time i'm not mentioning about or action name because i don't need it because when we will go in blocks also oh, sorry we have to mention it because uh, i didn't uh, create this uh, home page in index file 
so I have to mention that it will be home. I have to go in home. So if you just reload your page again and then go in about, then go in home, then this is the home page. Now click on home, this is the home about page. And for contact, we have to create a contact method first. So I'm just creating a public function contact and a curly braces then we have to create a view for contact so i'm just going in uh, in my layout folder and template folder and same directory that means template and in these blocks i have to create a file called contact.php and after save go in browser reload your page we should see something like this so this is the about page and this is the home page if we just give here that i have created a contact contact after save if you go contact we will see the contact now so we now able to go in we, we, are, we now able to create a pay, you create page uh, according to navigation and we also able to change our layout for a single controller so now we are able to change our layout for a single controller now question if you go that's uh, in previous tutorial or in back tutorial we have created also a products controller uh, for test purpose for example if you just go in product now you will see a completely uh, cac php uh, layout in here so now if you want to change your layout for your full application that means for your all controller then what we'll do you will do the same thing that i have did in here you have to go in app controller like this and here you have to give this uh, namespace or use this namespace in here then you have to create this before filter method in your app controller because app controller is actually your parent controller so i'm just uh, giving it in here then go and this is the products i'm just going to reload now you will see a completely different layout that means it's the blog layout that i have used so now you are able to change your layout for your all controllers also able to create your layout for a single controllers also you are able to create your uh, layout only for a method or only for a action so i'm just revert my code again and just removing it from here because I will just use this layout only for my blocks controller. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In next tutorial, we will see something new. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for next.